We find ourselves once again at a tavern at the edge of the world. Today's a relatively slow day. Not many folks are coming in and out, and most of the waiters and waitresses seem to just be lounging about, enjoying their time, uh, uh, not having to serve as many as they're used to while uh, they have it. Um, our typical party sits in the corner, uh, awaiting their bardic friend as usual. Um, eventually, the bard makes his way in through the front doors. Um, a large smile cracked across his face. Um, looking over, he sees the party and immediately gives him the finger guns before he goes over to the bar and grabs a drink. Toasts to them and gives a bit of lengthy time of anticipation just to frustrate them before making his way over to the table. Eventually he makes his way over and, as per usual, slams his drink down and kicks his feet up on the table. Right, well, it is good to see you again, my friends. I presume that life has been treating you well. You're all still here and uh, alive, so that's good news. But you're not here to listen to me uh, talk about your lives. You want to hear about others. Stories. Tales. I can do that. He reaches behind himself and pulls out an instrument, um, and with a single strum, as per usual, the room begins to grow cold as the music fills the air and a hint of magic lies in anticipation. Oh, where do we start? Uh, oh, I've got one today. The Elden Gods. Powerful beings. Sons and daughters of the great Gunfear, every last one. And as close as you can get to what we conceive as one of our omnipotent gods. The Elden Conflict sundered many of them, leaving only but three left alive to seal themselves away in Elden Guard. Eir, the oldest of the three, goddess of magic and divination. Voland, god of courage and strategy. And finally, the youngest, Ingun, goddess of light and renewal. Ever since the banishment of their children, no mortal has seen or been able to directly communicate with them, leaving their influence just out of reach for the common folk. Enter the Damari, arbiters for the Elden God's will. These paladins have been blessed with a connection that grants them a measure of reverence from all beings in the land. Being there is only six of them on the continent, however, their reach and time is limited. As such, they arbitrate and provide counsel for important matters only. Peace talks between holds, war councils, the anointing of a Jarl, and not as frequently, much more rarely, criminal incidents that shake the very heart of Neverwald. You find yourselves in shock. Standing in a dark room, the window shattered, door open, the body of Eskomaro collapsed on the floor, floor in front of you in a pool of blood. Bo frantically pushes himself against the wall as you stand, wondering what happened. What do you do? Uh, um, in vain, I'm going to search for signs of life. Uh, I know he's dead, but I'm just, <laughs> I'm in shock. Um, you run over and you go to search for any signs of life, a pulse, anything, something to let you know that he's alive. And you notice when you get up close that his head is completely severed from his body. That's a no. no. Uh, uh, I'm going to lean over to Morgan and be like, can you check to see if there was any magic summoning that thing here? Uh, I... Um... I wouldn't know how to... get. Can I just, like, look around, see what I can sense, maybe? Any idea of what that might have been? Um, 
You can make me, I guess, an occult roll. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> nice. I'm just gonna pull her hood back up and over her face. Uh, fuck. Sign her a five. A five? Yeah. You're not... You can't really pin anything on this. There's definitely a weird vibe in the air. Um, something... I don't want to say supernatural, but it, it feels like the ma there was magical presence in the area. Wait, okay. the thing we saw jumped out the window, right? Can I go look out the window and see if there's any sign of it? Sure. Um, so. Go ahead and pop your head out and make me a notice roll. Fuck. I think I'm good at that, but we're gonna find out. Awesome. Cool. Three. Three. Amidst the cold snow below and the dark night, you see no sign. What do we do? I'm gonna turn to Bo and be like, Right, so, you and I, we go find more of the fucking guards outside and we bring them and tell them what just fucking happened, right? What? Huh? I'm just gonna, Wait, like, grab you... the sides of his face. Let's get the guards and tell them what fucking happened, right? Yeah. When did Reese turn into Melek? Don't worry. Uh... <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Accents are funny, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say I've butchered a ton. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, oh. Yeah. Yes, uh, guards, yeah. I'm just gonna, like, pick him up. Guards. Oh, and just, like, guards, start carrying guards, yeah. him out the room. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh. Is that the smartest idea right now? Why not? We were the last people in here. People saw us. Right, but we go fucking witness. I I look to I look to a says. guy. You look at Bo and he's just like totally freaking out, like being held by Reese, like still Do we? in shock. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just gonna look at him and be like do you have any fucking reason to throw us under the fucking bus? No, that's not what I'm saying. I I know about these kinds of people pointing over tomorrow. People like him are going to be angry that he's dead. Are they going to take the word of him? No way. Not likely. Right, and then I'm just going to set him on the ground. The more you, su you suggest. I don't know. I suggest we get the fuck out of here. We just what time of day is especially, it? Especially, especially. Oh yeah, what time? Of... It's like night by this point. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's yeah. very late. It's like yeah, because we midnight. we've been drinking for a bit. <laughs> we've been drinking for a bit. So. <laughs> well, correct me if I'm fucking wrong, but fleeing the scene without alerting anybody that fu anything fucking happened might look a little bit fucking weird. It's going to look suspicious either way. We might as well get the head start on the uh, running, I guess. D don't don't underestimate the, the resources. It's... They'll fucking find us. Like, it, they, so if they can make fucking tokens, it make it harder to for people to find us when we don't want to be fucking found. I'm sure they have ways of fucking circumventing that shit. Later or not, if we fucking run from here, it's gonna look fucking bad. <laughs> so what our options here are stay here and die or run and die? We can at least tell somebody before we fucking run. What's around us? Like, what's in the room? Um, all manner of ledgers, uh, vaults, um, interesting looking, like, gemstones. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> time and place, time and place. <laughs> We're stealing from this guy immediately. 
Ah, uh, yes, we're already going to be framed for his murder. Why not robbery? Why not add to the mode? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going with the vibe, and the vibe is Grand Theft Larceny. <laughs> Grand Theft Larceny. Oh Lars my god. Coming to a PlayStation 5 near you. <laughs> um, I don't know what to do. I. What? Pers personal opinion, Bo says. I think you'd have. If you're worried about living, a better chance of trying to stand up for yourselves than you would from running. The resources they have are immeasurable. <laughs> no, not pick him up. Just oh. like, oh, like, look at this guy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. At least if we are on the run, we have the option of hiding for a while. What do you think? I don't think anybody is going to believe us, especially with who you've been traveling around with. She's going to pull back her hood just a little bit and then put it back. Yeah, but you've also got two fucking Timmy goods. At least two. I, don't, I still don't. Jury's still out on you, motherfucker. But uh, at least two fucking who? Timmy goods. You, we'll, tell, we'll talk about it later. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> but... We at least have two demigods, and apparently that has some sort of fucking sway. So, if you want to sit out and go hide out somewhere while we talk about it with somebody, it's fucking fine. Nah. But, the way I see it, if we run and we don't tell anybody anything at all tomorrow's here, is that we fucking run after he fucking died, they're gonna hunt us down. This is my first time being hunted down by somebody. We need to fucking make sure that this shit doesn't follow us somewhere. Fine. And who knows, we may get lucky. He wasn't, you know, particularly liked. So, who knows? Yeah. Fine. <sighs> Fine, we stay. If anybody is not fucking comfortable with this, I could be the only one fucking telling people. And then I can talk my way out of this shit. Where's Arthur? Um, with you. Is he with me? Mm hmm What do you think, buddy? There's a few squawks, kind of cocks his head, looking at the body and back to you. Yeah, me too. <laughs> um, okay, we'll, we'll go along with it. Guy, like I said, if you're not happy about it, fucking wait on the edge of town. If I don't come back in fucking three days, assume I'm fucking dead and at least ask for, like, the shit I have. Right? Um. Odin. Yes. I do have Heimloch, which is Detect Conceal Arcana. Okay. Can I cast that? You certainly can. Um, roll me whatever your spellcasting skill is. That is ten. A ten. Um, what are the the specifics? It's in the radius around you. Detect right? all supernatural persons or effects in sight for five rounds. This includes okay. invisible foes, enchantments on people or items, and so on. With the rays, I know the type of enchantment, but I do not have a raise, I do not believe. You do. What? Okay, cool. You, you well, then I know the type. <laughs> um, I mean. There's a lot of things that light up in this room. <laughs> I'm looking specifically near his body slash out the window. Gotcha. Um, immediately on his body, the only thing that you pick up, um, two objects, the amulet and the weird little monocle-like device he used to inspect it. Uh, both have um, enchantment on them. 
uh, and the monocle thing has uh, illusion in addition to enchantment. Um, out the window, nothing. Okay, then I guess we need to go find the authorities. Well, I did not think I'd ever say that. What? Like I said, anybody wanting to come with me and Bo? Because I'm assuming you're coming with, right? Like, turning to Bo. I didn't think I had a choice when you picked me up. Well, I assume he's your employer. Well, I assume that you wanted y yes, information. Yes, yes, I... Right. Yes, it So, is. come with me and Bo, or stay outside town, and just fucking chill. Um, well, I'm gonna go do some shit. And I'm headed out. <laughs> Bo kind of tenses up as you walk past, almost anticipating you <laughs> picking him up again. <laughs> Just stuff him under my arm. <laughs> 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 But then once you walk past, he kind of just sheepishly slides out behind you. This will be a bad idea. I'm gonna follow Reese. Maybe he's... I don't know, he seems really smart. Maybe... maybe... maybe he's right. <laughs> I can tell you have not been here the past... Uh, the past few days. And then we still follow Reese. <laughs> you should get out of here for a little bit until I come outside, buddy. And I like push like uh, Arthur like towards the windowsill. He goes begrudgingly. Um, Craig and Brynja also follow you out. You make your way downstairs and into the tavern where everything down below seems like nothing has happened. Great. Folks are still partying, getting smashed. All manner yeah. of other people are playing cards, rolling dice. Um, it's completely jolly. No idea what happened upstairs. Are there any guards in the tavern right now? There are. Most of them are participating in drinks. Yeah, I was about to say, do any of them look on duty right now? Uh, make me a notice check. Sick. Uh, I mean, we could gaslight the shit out of some guards. We could do that. I'm sure we could. They're both the fucking same. Do I wanna... The fucking... Why did Jared have to be gone for this session? Mr. Hero of the Town would be so goddamn useful right now. Well, I have alertness, so that's actually a five. Nice, okay. Um, there's none in the tavern, but you do remember that there was some guards that were going to be assisting with getting the money cart unloaded. Cool. I'm just going to, like, because the money cart's, like, right outside of the yes, tavern. I'm just going to, like, open the door and pop my head out. Um, you see three guards in total. Um, there's two just bog standard guards, uh, full armor, head to toe, and then there's one with their helmet off. Um, this dark brown hair kind of flowing just to their shoulders. Um, a singular sash draped over their shoulder kind of indicating a little bit of a higher rank in the guard. Cadre. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna walk up to the higher ranking one, just like tap him on the shoulder. Before he does! Oh no. Oh no. I want to get out of Dodge! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking out of here! Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, for, correction, I'm gonna stand outside of the tavern and wait, I'm gonna give it three minutes, uh, for anybody who wants to fuck off, to fuck off, and then I'll go up to motherfucker. <laughs> but, I, <laughs> okay, never mind, I'll be fine. <laughs> okay. okay. Bye. So, you're staying or are you leaving? Staying. Okay. Okay. And so, I'm guessing nobody leaves. Doesn't seem like it. Literally, the only reason is Raina has logic herself. It's gonna look worse if you run. It's gonna look worse if you run. Just fucking stay here. <laughs> what? Fuck it. 
And I'm gonna like tap higher rank dude on the shoulder. Uh, yes, I know. There's a lot of money here. If you just please keep your distance. No, no, no. Uh, something fucking happened with Mr. Moro. Uh, somebody needs to go fucking look at it. More than happy to go up there with you. But this is a fucking problem. And he turns around kind of quickly. Um, a large scar over one of his eye. Uh, one of his eyes. The other is vibrant. Um, almost tannish brown eye. Uh, he looks at you with Mr. Morrow. Yeah, motherfucker's dead. Fuck. Yeah. You two stay here. Man, you... right. And I'm just gonna take him up. <laughs> um, he makes his way in and uh, kind of follows also you upstairs. Also making sure Bo's coming with us. Oh yes, I'm Bo is very him. much with you. <laughs> cool. I'm actually just gonna stay downstairs and keep an eye on the other two guards. Just very quietly, because we, we don't fucking know. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna watch them, see how they react, what they do. <laughs> you want? I don't trust any of this. <laughs> <laughs> I. You will. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I want to. Okay. Is there any, like, just any time that I can, like, gr like, be in proximity of both of them? That'd be pretty easy, like, inside this busy tavern. Like, touch. Oh. Um, I mean, you can make it happen. Okay, as you're like following, as you're like trying to stay here and we're like passing, I like grab both your arms and this is some insurance. Uh, this is some, this is some insurance. I'm freaking out a little and I need to be able to know that we can communicate no matter what. what? I want to cast Mind Link. Oh, sweet. Ooh, all sure. right, nice. Uh, and I'm going to spend an extra power point so that I can affect all three of us. So it's three total. Nice. All right. There's a brief moment after Morgan says that where you feel this weird twitch in your mind um, as a pathway is open between the three of you. I'm just going to send out good idea. That's probably the best thing that's going to keep us going. Welcome to Viking James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> you make your way up, um, Reese, you, Bo, and uh, the, the guard um, all make their way up to the room where the sounds of the tavern fade away um, and you find yourself Again, looking at the grisly scene of Eskel's body. The guard kind of like stops in the doorway. Oh, God. So, do you want to investigate first, or do you want me to explain what both of us fucking saw? Start explaining. And he goes over the body and kind of starts to look around and not touching, but just kind of looking at like the cuts and um, towards the window and stuff. And so I'm just gonna like turn to Bo and be like, jump in if, the, jump in if at any time shit goes fucking, I'd say anything wrong. Especially since you're his assistant, right? They'll believe yeah. me more yeah. than me. So we came back, we did a job, right? We got an artifact that he wanted but I knew it there. Um, we concluded our business. Um, we were to be paid. This creature came in, cut his head off, jumped out the fucking window. He kind of pauses. Um, go ahead and roll me a persuasion. Cool. Um, sweet. D8. Do, 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 do. 
Do, do, do. Oh, damn, so close to exploding. Um, ba, 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 ba. That's gonna be a six. A six? Mm -hmm. It kind of looks to the window. Creature. Can you elaborate? I'm just gonna describe as best I can how it looked. And like, especially that like the room grew cold and shit and everything went quiet. Sounds a bit far-fetched. Look, if honestly, if we fucking did this, we would have been out of here right now. I want to make sure that you lot were the first to be informed, especially because his family needs to at least know what the fuck happened, right? It's one thing to have a family member die, it's another one to not know how they fucking died. And I'm not in the habit of making sure that people don't at least fucking know what happened. Yeah. Now I get it. Make me another persuasion roll. Sounds good. <laughs> Yo, so we're nervous. exploding! Again? Bless. Holy shit. Okay. Bless. These, you chose great for the restice. It's <laughs> holy shit. Three, four. Okay. Holy shit. Okay, hang on. I have to do fucking math. Um, I'm just gonna get a calculator out and have it out for the fucking session. Holy shit. Uh, do, 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 do. Eight times four. That's gonna be thirty-eight. Oh Jesus my Christ. god! Christ. <laughs> do you remember when Grog got like a natural twenty on <laughs> on like speech? Yeah, yeah. Like something intelligent. That's what this is. Similar vibes here. <laughs> He looks to you and then to Bo, and Bo kind of nods. I swear every word of what he said is true. All right. I believe you. Can't say everyone else will. That's fine. I can explain as much as I fucking need to before people, you know, get a sense of what's going on. It's my duty to ask you and whoever was with you to come to Wintercrest. Winter this is Crest. not... This is not just a minor death. This was what? someone very well known, and you'll need to present this to the steward of the hold. He needs to be aware of what happened. Right. So, for Wintercrest, um, I imagine this is a uh, criminal investigation, are we going to need to be escorted, or is this more of like an honor system, like we are expected to be in Wintercrest in a few days? There'll be a guard with you at minimum. That's Messenger will always be, will be sent ahead as well, just so they're aware of your travel. Um, and I'm gonna turn to Bo. Um, I'm assuming you want me to stay here, make sure that everything's tied up, and make sure that all of this is sent over to. Oh, fuck, I'm forgetting what town it is that we need to get to, but that everything's in order. Um, I don't, I don't know if any of us are really in a spot to mess with stuff um but so can we count on you coming with us to meet the chris i kind of feel like i have to I, I i know i'm big and i give off a vibe of being just like i'm a punch shit and then run out but if you are not comfortable going you don't have to no i mean i'm not comfortable going but it's i feel like i have to Cool. Um, and I'm gonna turn back to the guard. Like, I'll make sure that anyone traveling with us gets there safely. 
he nods and kind of just like turns back to Eskel and shit this isn't good so is there anything else you need from us or can we just start heading out now go grab one of the cards from the cart that I was with head out either now or in the morning you know there's been a good amount of drink for everyone tonight fair part of the reason I wanted to take you up discreetly make sure it didn't interfere with any of the celebration um stay safe and I'm just gonna head out of the room Uh, and is, is Bo following as well? Yes. <laughs> cool. As soon as we're out of the room, we're going to be like, right, so just if things happen along the way over there, stay the fuck away from it, anything that might come at us, and I'll make sure that they don't fucking touch you, right? Okay. Fucking awesome. Now I'm just going to make my way downstairs, and I'm just going to send out what? Just talk with them. We're headed out either tonight or tomorrow morning. It... What? Wintercrest. We're headed to Wintercrest. Wait. Meet we me outside. Has... I'll explain more. I'm just going to talk in my brain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how I've been sending it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then I'll outside, I guess. Yeah. I'm just out. As far as I can fucking tell, if I believe us. I look around. Are there any guards? Just the ones I mentioned earlier that were partaking in the drink with the the, the drinks in the tavern. I don't trust this. Weird. I, and, uh, and then in my brain, and I certainly know better than to trust a guard when he says, "I believe you." I'm. I, I'm look. I'm. Hold on. The guard. The other guards are definitely super shady, right? They're definitely. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I am with like trying to maintain my composure. I'm looking left and right. Like no one's like jumping us or coming up on us from what I can see. Make a notice roll. Notice roll. Oh, that's pretty good. That's a five. Oof. If I get a six, it explodes on the wild die, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yep. Listen, both my notice and my wild die are a d6, so I just rolled the same thing. Why? <laughs> uh, mine's a d4, so I just got an eight. eight. Yo. Bless. Um... You don't see anything out of place. It's everyone okay. is enjoying their time. You do notice that um, as you're starting to make your way out, you do see the the captain that Reese was talking to kind of come downstairs, um, and he starts to kind of usher the rest of the townsfolk out, trying to clear the tavern so no one accidentally goes upstairs. Okay, I'm freaking the fuck out. Uh, in more in character, sorry. <laughs> We are the number one suspects in the murder of one of the most powerful people in all of the hearth. Which is exactly and why we need to keep ourselves level-headed. No, uh, Reese, we are not in cuffs. Why aren't we in cuffs? Either they believe us and they're expecting us to comply, one of the guards is going to be going one with us. Guards, or... One guard believes us. If they right. empty out this tavern... What are they going to do to us? Which is why I'm saying we need to go outside where anybody looking out the fucking window can see. Yeah? Fine, let's hear him. Let's... Something obviously happened. Let's hear him out. Okay. Worst case you can't scenario, run now, it's too late. And I'm still saying this in my head. Worst yeah, that's scenario, all in my head. Yeah. We can't Worst run case, now, it's too late. Worst case scenario... 
will be will be on the road. We book it. Yeah. They have to sleep at some point. Again, if you're uncomfortable, follow us, but stay out of sight, yeah? I think it's a little too late to get out now. I mean, I guess that depends on how well you can stay hidden. Yeah. Regardless, keep a calm demeanor for now, and we'll, we'll play it as it goes. Fine. Okay. Make your way outside. What's happening with the guards? What's going on? Um, nothing too noteworthy. There's the two at the cart who look a little bit more tense since like the entire tavern's clearing out. They're trying to keep people from getting close to the cart. Um, that has the shitload of gold in it. Um, there's a few guards kind of stumbling out of the tavern that were sloshed out of their minds. Um, that's really about it. Um, you eventually see the captain kind of start to make his way out after most of the people have cleared out. Oh, I make sure to pick my helmet back up off the table as we're going out of the place. <laughs> I have a reputation here. I have a reputation in Wintercrest, too, and I don't know if... Then find a way to slip away and hide. Yeah. I can create is... a distraction for you so that you can slip out unnoticed and just trail behind where you cannot be seen. Yeah. I don't know if it's that simple. We'll see what happens. Okay. Regardless... Whatever happens, I'll keep you safe. Um, okay. And as soon as we get outside, I'm just gonna be like, Oh, fuck, I don't know about the rest of you, but oh, I need a fucking drink. And I'm gonna pull the keg out and start pouring myself a mug. Keep it calm. Uh, right, and I'll hand the first mug to you and pull off my second. Bryn Brynja gladly <laughs> takes a mug as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure she does. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, this, uh, this fucking night just got fucking weird. Uh. So, uh, and, and I'm gonna turn to guards. So, we wait for everything to finish up so well you can come with us right oh all right um they kind of look over to where the captain's just kind of like leaning in the doorway watching everyone leave the tavern he looks over and kind of nods to them okay sure and i'm gonna turn to the captain and be like i assume that it's a little bit hard, but do you want one of us in cuffs just to make sure that things at least seem fair? Or whatever. I don't know how this fucking works, so I just want to make sure that we're doing exactly what needs to be done. He kind of stands up uh, from his leaning position. If I'm honest, I don't think you need cuffs. This is all just part of the legality of what happened here. Whether you're guilty or not, people are afraid of the Maros, and that fear is a lot stronger than iron. Can I get a sense of whether or not he's being truthful? Um, yeah. Let's see. I think it's still a notice roll, because there's not like a separate insight skill. Yeah, fair. Okay. Notice. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's a seven. Nope. Because it's, uh... Would this fit in with alertness? Like, I, if I can, like, see or hear it, or is it outside of alertness, do you think? Um, 
I'd say it's within alertness, because you're kind of judging, like, posture, you know, any ticks, anything like that. Cool. Nine. Nine. He seems honest. Um, whether or not it's true, he seems confident that you're not going to run on your way to Wintercrest. What? Oh, Cheese. And I'll relay that information through the the fuck web. <laughs> okay. How many are coming? All of us, I would imagine. Guards. Oh. But I said one. We'll only have to deal with one. So. I imagine the one is just to make sure that once they get to Whittacrest, they can send word back. I still don't like it. But okay. I don't like trying to subvert the Mars more, to be honest. Certainly not a family you want to piss off, so... Seems like the only people who have more power than the Mars outside of the gods are the Eldens, but I rather won't mess with them. The uh, captain eventually makes his way over um, to you. Um, he holds out a letter. Just so you know, I'm being honest. This is what I'm sending with my messenger. What? Is it a sealed letter? Not yet. Okay, I'm gonna open it and read it. Um, it basically just details, you know, that Eskelmaro is dead. Um, this messenger is to notify the steward of the arrival of the party that was present during his demise. Um, and he should proceed with any legalities as he sees necessary. What? And uh, Reese is about to fold it up and then thinks for a second. Bro, does somebody want to fucking read this? <laughs> I take it. <laughs> it says what I just described. <laughs> I was literally my first thought. I'm like, wait, can Reese read? <laughs> <laughs> Do we know that? Is that canon? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm recovering. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like at this point, every time I Reese opens his mouth, it's psychic damage for somebody. Morgan calls you smart. <laughs> yeah, now you know why Rena said you have definitely not been here the past couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Um, okay. Uh, I hand it back to him. He takes it and rolls it up and wraps it and ties it in a nice little uh, bow, and he goes off out of you, seemingly to find a messenger. Uh, Alright. Well, I'm just about finished with my mug. In the morning. Yeah. In the morning? Alright. Yes, we'll, we have to get time for the messenger, too. Give him a head start. Right. So, um, are we going into separate rooms again, or are we congregating? I would very much like that. But I can pay for my own, so. Yeah, all right. <sighs> uh, I'll just pay for my own again, I guess. Okay. Okay. Oh. I'll just turn to Brynja and Craig. If either of you care about safety and numbers, um, <clears throat> um, just let me know, right? And I'm gonna go in to pay for my room for the night. Okay. Um, 
It's uh, two gold for one room for the night. Free. Bitchin'. We just got fucking paid, so we are. Oh, how much did we get paid? Did I get any of it? <laughs> yes, you did. Uh, <laughs> yes. <clears throat> oh fuck! What was the total by the time everybody gave up their share for the fucking work? It was like four hundred gold a piece, right? Because we basically all gave up our extra. Yeah, I think it was about a uh, four hundred. That sounds Cause right. I... Yeah, because I think the job was four hundred, and then we all got an extra hundred if. We did something, which we did, but I yeah. think we basically all ended up giving, or the way between between like Reese and Brynja, how much they give up, it basically totaled to everybody gave up that extra hundred gold. <laughs> yeah, like I I I gave up all my gold because I got the arm brace. That's right. Yeah. And I think I, Brynja also I gave up basically all of her gold, and then I think Morgan, Reyna, and Crag just gave up their extra hundred. Yeah, that sounds right. That would that would make sense, because I had two hundred and some on gold, and now I marked that I had six hundred, and I know I did the math, so... Oh! Morgan, uh, you mark- you have, like, uh, you added one to your toughness, right? No. Oh, I, I, last session I gave you a ring that added to your toughness. Sorry. Yes. I'm so tough. Thank you. Yes, yeah. You have a ring that adds one to your toughness. Thank you. Yeah. It was like at the very beginning of last session. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we go to sleep, I guess? You each make your way to your separate rooms. Um, yes. Is there anything that you'd like to accomplish? Um, oh, when you get to your yes. Room? Okay. Oh, no. Uh, Morgan, when you get to your room, you find Arthur, like, tapping on the window seal. <laughs> oh, I let him in! <laughs> yeah, then I want to do something. Okay. What do you want to do? I want to cast Mind Link now that it's over on me and Arthur. Okay. And I just want to, um, buddy, can you look in Morrow's window and see if there's anyone inside? Kind of cocks his head and hops off your shoulder towards the edge of the window seal. Yeah, look in his window and caw if there's anyone inside. He flutters off. No cause? No cause. Good job, buddy. I... I want to start sneaking. Alright. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, make me a roll. Oh, okay. If you are the reason we get arrested, I swear to God, Julian! We're already arrested. <laughs> We're not, Check though! So when can I use the wild die again? I can just pick at any time which one to use. Yeah, so whenever you make any sort of die roll that isn't damage, your wild die is rolled with your skill die. Perfect. That's five. Okay. Um, you cautiously and slowly open up your door and kind of step out in the hallway, being careful to step on the boards that are more sturdy, um, ensuring you avoid any unnecessary squeaks. Wonderful. What about his door? Is it locked? It has been closed, um, but it is not locked. I won't go in. You make your way inside. Everything is virtually the way you left it, um, outside of Eskel's body, which has been um, kind of wrapped in 
draped over with a blanket uh, to hide the grisly scene. Are there any magical artifacts in here that are of, our, that are of particular interest to me? Uh, make me a notice roll. Nothing really immediately catches your eye, um, as far as artifacts go. Um, the only two things that catch your eye, the first is immediate and straight away. You see the corner of the amulet peeking out from underneath the blanket. The second, um, it's not so much an artifact as it is a book. It is a book bound in this almost ebony black leather um, and it's got these four um, ebony stones on the front that create this sort of unique um, light pattern as the moonlight hits them there's no title or anything on it it's just a book yes what's in it um, you open the book up and you see illegible scrawlings. It's not a language that... It's not even a language that you can tell. It just looks like someone just went crazy with a pen. I would like to use a spell in order to try and decipher it, but I need remaining power points in case something bad happens. <laughs> So, I'm going to pocket it. Okay. Um, I'm going to pocket it. Is there anything else of particular interest to me in this room? Um, straight away, there's just your, your typical, like, research books, um, things that would interest Eskel as far as, like, you know, um interesting locations in the hearth um you know history books um there's you know a few uh, like i think i said earlier uh sapphires and rubies kind of along some of the shelves that are propped up as ornamental display pieces um and there's like the vaults in the different portions of the room um presumably where most of the money that he keeps with him is stored that he kept with him is stored. No, I'm gonna leave. Okay. You sneak your way back out into your room. Yeah. Unnoticed. Perfect. Uh, in that case, since I'm back in my room, I will do nothing. Just kidding, I'm gonna go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> Either of you two, Reese, Reyna? Just um, pacing in my room, doing my forms. Um... Okay. Um, Reyna. Oh no. That's me. Sleep finds you. Oh. <laughs> you find yourself in a familiar dream. Not one you get often, but one you know. Oh no. Darkness slowly grows to a golden light. The space around you blinding you can't make out any sort of discernible shapes or features in any way. You swear just on the edge of your hearing, you hear something moving. Make me a notice roll. Okay. Okay. Okay, that explodes. Eleven? Eleven. It's a, 
That's just on the edge of your hearing. Roll, you guys. And <laughs> you think it sounds like the beat of wings? Hey. You hear the voice again. Muffled as usual. Not many of the words you're able to make out. The only ones you catch this time. Not done. Is the light that... grows even more intense. As your vision fades, you feel yourself go blind. You wake up in a daze on your bed with a headache like no other. Fantastic. And a feather on your chest. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's never happened before. Uh... Pure white, except for just the edge of it, which almost seems to be coated in this golden filigree that sparkles in the moonlight. Okay. Um. Yeah, I. My head hurts too much to worry about. We're gonna. We're gonna. Put it in my bag and we're gonna worry about it later. <laughs> you do so. You find it hard to go back to bed after the pounding headache, but. Yeah. This, yeah. Eventually, rest Not does so. come back to you. All of you find morning. Groggily making your way downstairs. For those of you that had rougher nights than others. Right. Breakfast and head out. God. Yes. You know, I haven't been arrested recently, but I think this is the nicest occurrence ever. Oh, yes, I'm. Um... Except for the not been arrested bit. Um, yeah, it's usually a lot worse than this. I think it's mainly because, like you said, people don't usually fuck with the Moros, and so it's more of a, like, if we're gonna get fucked up by this, the Moros will take care of it. I wonder who we're gonna meet. Has Reese been through Wintercrest? I can't remember. I'd imagine uh, you probably would have. It's a pretty popular <laughs> city to frequent. I know would Winterquest it... quite <laughs> well. Would it be common knowledge to see if I can get a sense of who we might have to fucking talk to when we get there? Sure. Okay. Uh, no explosions, but that's fine. That's gonna be a six. Six. For sure, probably um, the steward, Steward Ingald. But with something of this scale, maybe it's others, though who you're not sure. Okay. And I'm guessing I haven't met Ingald before. No. You just know the name. <laughs> Have I? <laughs> Unless you're doing any sort of uh, contracting or administrative work within the city. No. Probably not. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be like, probably have to mate with Ingold, but we'll see how the it fucking goes. I don't know shit about him, but he does paperwork, so can't be too bad, right? You'd be surprised. Odin, I probably know nothing about this city. I didn't really travel. This is like my first time being pretty much outside of Shadow yes. Shore. It, so. is, it is going to be brand new for three of you. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get to see my friend while I was here. I'll catch him next time. Actually, sorry, I forgot to yeah. tell you this. <laughs> you did. I'll catch you You did, actually. <gasps> I missed Bjorn! <laughs> <laughs> we didn't go. You went off yeah. on your own while we invested. Oh, in okay, it. never mind, never mind. Okay, cool. Yeah. Good. I, I need that interaction, like, yeah. like he was, one day. Bjorn was my my uh, out for Morgan not to be Good. there for combat. <laughs> you guys are killing people and union busting. I have some family to visit in the city. Mm -hmm. 
You get it. Oh fuck, are we <laughs> Pinkertons? <sighs> yes, no, you are we Pinkerton! Didn't, we didn't bust anybody's kneecaps. In fact, we gave them their money back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just bribed them. Kneecaps. But that's because they didn't fucking leave. <laughs> oh fuck, we are the Pinkertons. Fucking damn it. You are the Pinkertons. I did kill someone. I mean, we stopped some sort of fucking blood ritual, so I mean... <laughs> we actually didn't. It still oh. happened. Rip. Remember, like... Oh, that's right! It did! It did happen! Blood. He did finish it! Yeah. But we killed him after, so it's fine. Yeah. It cancels out. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It cancels out. It's fine. <laughs> Reese may not he didn't be able get to, to do, do that, anything but... with whatever fucking power he got. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, Reese may not be able to do math, but I'm pretty sure a negative times a negative still makes a positive. <laughs> positive! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Alright. So, what comes next? Heading out? I fucking guess! After breakfast. Yeah, after breakfast. After breakfast. You get a nice serving of some fairly hearty biscuits and sweet rolls. Um, um oh, hell yeah. Could I have some gruel, please? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank we're you. Not, we're not in prison yet. You don't have to fucking... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's a delicacy over here. It's just what? called... It's just called gruel. You know, after a few years, you just kind of, a lot of cultures just kind of mingle and make a soup of stuff, and it's good. I forget that it's something that isn't normal, but not it. You get your gruel and your other <laughs> breakfast items. <laughs> I just invented a cultural delicacy. <laughs> <laughs> you made stew. Congratulations. <laughs> In my defense, it 100% is not something that happened. It's probably something that his dad made for him when he was very small and then got lied to about it and never bothered to <laughs> think, figure that it was, in fact, never. a lie. <laughs> so the waitress is probably like, what the fuck are you talking about? We have to protect Morgan at all fucking costs. Sigrid, <laughs> Sigrid just like gives you a weird look, but just kind of nods. Oh, shit. Um, and she comes back and... You get something that could be described as gruel, delicious. but it's definitely not what you remember. <laughs> Less delicious. Wait, Thank before you. we go, um, mm. she's gonna talk like very quietly. Uh, Crack, did you ever um pick up what you dropped off with your friend? Not yet. Is is that something we want to do before we? Head out. Well, I, I think that was my next question, is do we want to take that with us, or do we think that it's going to be more of a liability? Say something does happen to us while we're out. Do we want them coming back and funding it? Or do we want to be able to have it in our hands? Well, that is the thing when they know where to look for it. It's a problem. And to be fair, um, I think the only other one who knew about the amulet, or even a little bit of its purpose, is uh, resting in peace. True. Now. <laughs> so, you pick your fight. Uh, Crag, I wonder, um, it's going to be a bit of a journey over there, and I wondered if you might want to work on something together. Always. I'll catch you up later, but I have some ideas. Crack nods. So was that a, we're going to go get it, or we're going to leave it here? 
I, I think while know, we're in the Reese, city, we should do everything we should that? do in I, I mean, out of character. I think as long as we're in the city, we should do it. We should take it with us. Like, if there's something to be done in the city, I think we should do it while we're here, because we might be incarcerated. No, we're next talking week. whether do we want to take the tablet with us that yeah. has the info of all the infinity stone. Yeah, uh, yeah. I wrote that Considering... down. <laughs> yeah, but it's Sorry. more like, do we leave yeah. it for someone else? Uh, I figured it. Was I think. Oh, okay. We can. <laughs> There's three of us. We can decide. All right, who's here for who's here for leave it? <laughs> who's here for take it? <laughs> I'm going to you beat said your ass. You decide. are ten feet away from me. No, you are I'm ten thinking, feet like, away I'm trying from to, me. I am trying to think about this. Give me a second. I'm just. <laughs> If you need I was to like, what would Elena want to do? Because on the one hand, I think she would want to take it just so they have it, but also she doesn't want the guards to find it on them. Yep. I think she would. She, I think she would vote to leave it. So leave it. But what are the guards going to do with it if we leave it? Well, if the guards don't know we. Have it. The Rain. guards don't know where, we have it. Where is the tablet? With the inky. No, it is uh, with Crag's um, friend, who's the uh, mentor in this town. Oh, okay, so it isn't someplace safe. Yes. Yeah. Theoretically, yes. Okay. We didn't just leave it in one of the rooms. Uh, so Brynja no. also, Brynja also yeah. chimes in. Uh, I would like to go to Froman's ferry still. Um, we are forcefully being dragged to Wintercrest, but that was on my list to visit. So eventually I will be traveling back this way. What? Right, so we should come back no matter what. What? We leave it here. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. When did your fucking voice change? What? When did your fucking voice change? What are you talking about? <laughs> Babe, you're crazy. <laughs> Don't gaslight me. This is what? like a taste of what would have happened if we decided to just gaslight the guards all night. Reese, Reese is just gonna like stare at Morgan and be like, "All right, fair." So, final decision: leave it or take it. We're leaving it. Okay. I guess we're leaving it. <laughs> <laughs> Take all of the things. Our backpack is going to be four feet tall by the time we're yeah. done. All right. Oh, Tashi Galore says take it. <laughs> I have been debating on whether or not I should say it because I wanted to make a Tushy joke. And then the time passed pass me by. <laughs> Hashtag I'm with Tushy. I'm with Tushy. <laughs> I'm with Tushy. <laughs> oh my god. I'm with Tushy. Oh fuck. That did not just fucking happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Me. Oh, this shit's good. You eventually round up all your stuff. Um the guard meets you outside, and unless there's anything else that you'd like to do and still view. Mm. All right. You get on your way. Over the course of your travel, um, you'll be looking at roughly just a little under six days to get to Wintercrest. Oh, um, you guys have a cart. We do have a cart. Yeah. We do. I was going to ask if I want to sit in it. You do not have a that... horse for said cart. Yeah. Yeah, we do. We have Reese. Yeah, I'll carry us. <laughs> yeah, we have Reese and we have Brynja. And now, definitely, we have Reina. <laughs> two and a half horses. <laughs> 
I'll just post uh they've removed all the gold from the cart, right? Yes. At this point all the gold has been removed. Wait, didn't we say we were gonna give them back their cart? We did. But so we have to go to Wintercrest first. So we'll Oh we'll my god! Yet another reason that we need to loop back around. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't return your cart, you guys. I was a little busy getting arrested. You're arrested. <laughs> Sorry, there was a fucking murder. So we had to deal with that first. <laughs> we know we just Pinkertoned your asses, but it, we had every intention to re return your fucking cart. <laughs> anyway, six days is plenty of time for me to look into this book of nonsense that I definitely just picked up. Mm -hmm. Um, and because I'm a nosy pitch, I'm gonna try and look over his shoulder. You are able like to. like you can read it anyway. You are able to pull the cart along over the course of the journey. You are strong, but you are not a horse. It does not gain you any speed. Yeah, that's fine. Ew. Everything's fine. Still on fire department. Um. So. What would you like to occur over the course of this trek? Book. Book. How would you wanna... like to tackle the book? I would like to cast Loch, uh, Detect Arcana. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll me whatever your spellcasting name is. Gladly. Oh my. Yep, that is 12. I rolled 12. Is it a uh, D12? Yeah. Oh, so it fuck explodes. It. Keep rolling, oh, bud. Oh, fuck. Do I roll another D12? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Explosions, buddy. That's a 10. That's a 22. 22. Damn. You'll love to see it. Where was this book on January 6th? <laughs> 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 What's this book's mother's name? The lower realms from how it feels, Morgan. <laughs> Wait, what? This this book exudes a magic that is innate to the lower realms. Yes. Pardon? Uh It's the lovely book of death. Oh no. <laughs> Can I read anything in it using my new site? It's still just a jumbled mess. In fact, when you open it up the first page, the scribble looks different than it did the previous night. That's probably normal. That's all I can do. I'm just gonna, well, uh oh. Um. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna keep it and stare. Like, what does this mean? <laughs> you do so. Hi. Yes. In addition to my normal like hunting and shit, I would like to examine the fucking feather that I found in my room after my weird ass dream. Okay. You reach into your bag. Where's the feather? I'm sorry? You turn your bag practically inside out. There is no feather. <laughs> I'm sure Did that's fine. Something? I'm sure that's not going to have any lasting consequences. I'm sure it's fine. Uh... <laughs> Did you lose something? <sighs> no, no, I am... Um... I guess that was just part of the dream. Uh, it's fine. You fucking sorry? No, 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 no. Don't tell me. He'll be doing the next game of drinks. Sure. Sounds good. I'm not going to be doing a whole lot, but during the entire trip, every now and then, I'll just, like, turn to the guard that's traveling with us and be like, like, asking random questions, like, what's a five color? Or, like, What's your least favorite thing to eat in the world? <laughs> Beige broccoli. <laughs> oh. 
My favorite color is beige. <laughs> there is an audible. Oh. <laughs> Just like random ass quest, like increasing in craziness. Like by the time we're at the gates of Wintercrest, it's like if you could choose between living on an island is the richest man in the world or living in a fully paid house, but you're dirt fucking poor, what would it be? What's your favorite fish? The fuck's a fish? <laughs> <laughs> it's like. Such a simple question causes an aneurysm. I did it. <laughs> the island, it's like... a grim coast snapper. Huh. I respect it's specific. Just with that one answer, I, I know so much about this guard now, and I hate him. <laughs> I fucking hate him. <laughs> Um, over the course of your journey, um, along the way, you make a few inconsequential stops, um, every now and then at some of the different guard posts along the way, um, Palewood Watch, Hearthguard Keep, um, is kind of the guard makes you stop so he can go and shoot the shit with some of his buddies. Um, <laughs> hood up there. around the guards for me. <laughs> You get a but couple of I, I weird looks. From now on, unless otherwise specified, assume Marina's got her hood pulled. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fucking same. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Reese... Al Capone walking around in Chicago for me. <laughs> Reese just puts his helmet back on whenever we're around like populated areas. Yeah, you um you get a few weird looks from some of the guards that he talks to, but since you're with a guard, no one actually stops you and questions you about anything. Um, Noted. Plausible deniability. Um, eventually, assuming nothing else would like to occur, um, and you're not on the lookout for any sort of suspicious trails off the path. More than, you know. I, mean, look out. I know a lot of places, but I feel like running away is a bad idea right now, so I'm gonna stay yeah. in the guard. If yeah. there are any trails, I'll at least keep note of them. I'm um, gonna stay with um, Red Coast Snapper Guy. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> other than that, I'm just looking at the the arm bracer, just inspecting it, seeing if I can tell anything about it. Okay. Um, let's see. How about a... Hmm. It's not a history roll. <laughs> so, I guess... Common knowledge. Common knowledge? Okay. Actually, battle battle. Ooh. Ooh. That's the same die. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. That's a five. No, 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 no. First Benny. There you go. That landed on the top of my head. It's cocked. <sighs> okay. That's a five. Five. Um, this thing has seen its fair share of battles, and it is very old. Um, it's still got these just incredibly worn scorch marks, um, towards the upper portion of the bracer itself, and then these large gouges that seem to be made with some sort of weapon that had a sharp edge on one of the sides. Um, as I said, it is very old, at least not from this age. Noted. Eventually, on your travels, um, 
reach a point where the forest begins to clear. And before you, you see, just in the distance to your left and right, the two twin watchtowers. They're braziers fully illuminated, um, guards patrolling the top. It's just specks from the distance you're at. Um, these large platforms off to the sides that have these massive uh, ballistas attached to them. Um, but no one heeds you any notice. And you make your way further inwards. Eventually you hit a small barricade um, about halfway in between Twin Watch uh, to Wintercrest itself where a large wall has been set up um, made of wood and various trap spikes that kind of line the sides of the wall. Um, there's a guard kind of at the entrance to the gate who's seemingly taking stock of the, uh, anyone who seems to pass through. Anyone who has carts, they're doing inspections. Um, anyone just on their own, they're like looking in their bags. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, you're feeling good about yourself over there, buddy? What's up, bud? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> what's, uh, what's going on in this neck of the woods? What's going on in this neck of the woods? <laughs> <laughs> you got something to say there? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what's, what's in the cart? What's in the box? The cart. I'll like say there's nothing in the cart except yeah. for yeah. you. <laughs> it's you guys. You are what's in the cart. The call's coming from inside of the house. <laughs> okay, continue. I'm thinking. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> it's a dangerous pastime. Um, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm just continuing on like normal. Okay. Yeah, I ain't got nothing to hide. I'm good. Yeah. Other than, you know, who I am as a person. The Tell helmet's me. on. But we're The gonna... helmet stays on. It hasn't been on, except when we've been in populated areas. But now it's on. <laughs> we're keeping God. it on for now. God damn. I got the joke you were making. Thank um. you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am going... To cast Skrimira. Um, it's illusion magic. So I <laughs> Oh no. I should have figured out how I'm gonna fucking do it. Um I'm going to make my um uh... I'm going to put my bag down like against like the back of the uh, the cart, and I'm going to make it look like there uh, the wall of the cart is a few inches thicker than it really is, to conceal the bag in the illusion. Okay, all right. Are you doing this in front of the guard? <laughs> no, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> okay. I'll assume you're doing this while Reese is uh, playing 20 questions um, with the guard. If you could have How's 20 toes or 20 fingers, which would you rather have? Toes. Morgan, roll me stealth plus two. <laughs> <laughs> he answered so fast! <laughs> he answers for everything. I like Red Snapper. I like him. He concerns the fuck out of me. <laughs> Is it plus two? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Uh, five? Are you spending a penny or are you leaving that, bud? Also, for those new to the system, I'm gonna spend a, a penny. penny. Is a reroll. You yeah. get three of them per session. <laughs> I'm gonna spend a penny. <laughs> okay. I just rolled Probably a penny. I don't get a new wild guy. Fucking dice, do I? wise. I don't get a new wild die, do I? Yes, you do. It's a yeah. forward roll. You got it. Cause I, yeah, and then you get to choose which one you take, right? Okay, six. <laughs> That's better. That's better. Okay. <laughs> you added the plus two. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Um, you 
see your moment one time when the guard is like looking forward, pondering one of Reese's questions, and you very quietly cast your spell, um, putting up the illusion, um, stuffing your bag into it before he turns back around and answers. And I just look, I look over to, uh, <laughs> to Raina, I'm just like, Oh, put my finger over my mouth. Bombastic side eye. <laughs> bombastic side eye. Criminally offensive side eye. <laughs> <laughs> she won't say anything, but oh boy, are you make... being judged right now. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do while I'm in the city. Continue, oh. please. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Julian, do you want to know what energy you just gave off right now? No. I know what I'm gonna do when I'm on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anna. We're fucking. <laughs> that wasn't Anna, that was Lindsay! Was that, that Lindsay? Lindsay. That was oh, Lindsay! Lindsay. <laughs> Maybe I was on drugs, you don't know. During, during our, our home Avatar game, like 30 yep. years ago. At least yep. it feels like 30 years ago. <laughs> it was before she had any of the Fire Lily. I'm gonna yeah. get a book cover. <laughs> Oh, okay. oh, 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 all right. I went through all of the stages of grief. We can continue. <laughs> um, you make your way forward, eventually reaching the inspection point. Um, the guard kind of steps forward, um, and he converses among the other two, and um, they let him step through, and he motions for you all to come forward. Um, <laughs> Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Those of you with uh, visible bags, they search them. Um, finding... They find a whole peg. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? What's the weirdest shit they find in mine? That's I don't think they find anything weird. Again. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely get yeah. some eyebrow at the, the, the keg. <laughs> you want some? I don't have spare mugs. So, unless you have a mug of your fucking own. She kind of looks over her shoulder. My commander's watching. <laughs> uh, well, if you stay in anywhere, um, we can arrange it later. We'll have a drink, it'll be fine. Uh, not to make this awkward, but I realize I have to... <laughs> In order to keep the illusion up long enough, I need to encant it. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> what does that mean? So, I can keep, I can make any spell that I cast last is indefinitely as long as I continue the spell. Uh-huh. Oh, so you have to be continuously cast. Oof. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's not gonna look suspicious. So I'm just gonna um, just be muttering under my spell, like, <laughs> and just like keep along my way. I'll get out of the cart. Sorry, he's been having some fucking nightmares lately. It lasts all day. You eventually tune it out. I twitch my eyes. <laughs> Reese, make me a persuasion roll. Alrighty. Can I argue that I'm helping him and he gets like some sort I'll of I'll give you a plus one to the persuasion roll. Yeah! That's completely fine. So that's a six. A six? Mm hmm they, they just kind of... Yeah, come on through. <laughs> and... and like, as we're going through, I'll just be like... To avoid that, just don't eat any fucking mushrooms you don't know what to do with, and I'll just keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> you make your way through the gate. Um... <laughs> Guard gates to us are like doors to critical role. Like, what? <laughs> you make your way through That went past. smoothly. You make your way further past before the guard saddles up next to you. What? What? What happened? Do I need to be worried? Are you having an episode or something? Like, 
I... He passes off to him. I pass out on the wagon. I pass out. <laughs> I, I, well, I think I'm eyes. having an episode. <laughs> Goddamn. Make me a performance roll, please. Oh. Oh, no. Do you have performance? No, don't oh. ask that question. It's a D4. It's a D4, a D4 minus two. Why would you ask me that when you know I don't have that fucking villain? I don't know, man. I haven't seen your character sheet. So so it's a D4 and your wild die of a D6. But on either side, whatever the result is, you have to subtract two. Yep. They can still explode, so keep that in mind. I feel like I'm going to explode. <laughs> Wait, I need to use my Morgan die now. Do it. Fucking do it. Uh oh. Oh, I found them. Okay. <laughs> Julian has been sending me on just a ride of emotions anytime he goes silent and like chuckles at something. <laughs> Both of you have been taking me on an emotional roller coaster this episode, and I want off. <laughs> I got a six! Yo! I'm sorry, stream. <laughs> <laughs> you. Oh, sweet Hold on, I'm exploding! I'm exploding! So much! <laughs> Oh, no. 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> so that's another explode, right? Yes, it is! No! <laughs> oh, I want it on record that stream has been staring at me in the dice that I've been rolling and I cannot make this shit up. So I, I'll show you tip. I believe you. I a hundred percent believe you. Again? Oh, oh my God. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> so you explode again. So no, uh, the last one was a four. I'm done. Oh, okay. <laughs> so six, 12, 18, 24, 30. Well, 28. <laughs> I'm gonna have an aneurysm! <laughs> you get so into it that you almost actually think you black out. <laughs> you fall forward and the guard rushes towards you in a panic and grabs you to keep you from hitting your head and kind of sits you back up. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, it's, it's okay, it's okay. And kind of like slaps the side of your face. In that exact moment, I can stop enchanting because he's not looking at the cart. <laughs> <laughs> In that exact moment. So win. You do so, I wouldn't even make you roll for it. He's <laughs> like, oh. Thank you, Red Snapper, I'm feeling better now. You sure? Are you okay? Oh yeah, yeah, just a little. You know, just gotta, I think I got some water in my pack. I'm just gonna grab that real quick. Yeah, yeah. I think I take it and I sling it up on my back. <laughs> okay, um, I'll be sure that we have a cleric on standby. Oh, thank you, thank you. It's just, you know, been doing this with this for a while and we'll, we'll manage. Was it the pig fish or the upright beer this time? Hmm? Oh, the nightmares. Never mind. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> the guard walks, like, very close to you the rest of the trip, <laughs> seemingly ready to, like, pounce to catch you. <laughs> I like how he didn't even flinch at being called Red Snapper. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Bro, with that's... everything he else was... being, like, homie just... <laughs> He was he was full like Boy Good Scout mode like. <laughs> Good for him. Put Morgan into the recovery position. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, Meryl Streep. 
There's a new bitch in town. <laughs> Give that bitch an Oscar. You make your way um, before eventually you see before you the city of Wintercrest itself, the large stone walls um, climb a good 15, 20 feet in the air ahead of you. Uh, a large gate um, takes in all of the foot traffic that comes in and out of the city. Um, making your way in, you're reminded, for those of you that have been here, that the city itself is uh, is built almost in this concentrical sort of layers. Um, working inner towards outer, there's different barriers, checkpoints. Um, at the very center itself is uh, almost like a market and common space. Um, the next ring out is some of your more well-off, um, like richer areas. And then the further away from the center you get, um, you get towards more of the the uh, poor um, areas, less well-off. Um, and towards the very back of the city is where the actual keep itself is that houses um, not only the steward, but also the keep of the Hernia gods themselves. Um, stepping inside, you are immediately overcome by the sounds of the city. Um, it fills your ears as all manner of pedestrian push and shove the way around you as carts uh, roll through the dirt and cobblestone streets. Um, you hear all manner of merchants calling out their wares, various livestock and dogs throughout the space. Um, but you continue to follow the guard inwards. Um, is there anything you'd like to do now that you're in the city uh, as you're following the guard? Do Make I sure know? I don't have another epileptic episode, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> is, are there any, like, religious buildings along the way? Um, like there's a library? few small, like, shrines here and there out in the open. Um, having been to Wintercrest before, you would know that, like, the biggest religious space in the city is the Offering Hall. Um, it's a bit closer to the Hernia Keep itself. Excuse me. Um, but it's got uh, much better kept shrines to all the Hernia gods, as well as uh, some of the um, Elden gods. Can, can I find a store that sells, like, parchment? I'm about um, to go full arts and crafts. <laughs> Ye old Michaels, if you will. Yes, I'm Ye about old. to. In, no, I, I'm about to invent <laughs> Michaels. Oh. I'm looking for people to supply me. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what I'm about to do is I'm about to invent a medieval book sock. Ah. <laughs> um. Make me a notice roll. I should have forgot what a book sock is, so I just thought you were doing like the, I'm gonna fill a sock with pens and start beating people with them. Vince. Did it explode again? <laughs> I'm a monster! <laughs> Holy it's shit. It's these dice. I have like these dice that are like suits. Oh, nice. Okay, just one. We are good. <clears throat> um, but that is still an 11. Um, 11. There's nowhere dedicated strictly to paper, but your best guess is it would probably be at a general store, um, which you do pass when you get towards the center of town, uh, called Odds and Ends. That's spelled O-D, apostrophe S, and E-N-N-D, apostrophe S. <laughs> If you made that up, I'm gonna be. If you like made that up just now, I'll be so pissed at you. I <laughs> uh, I want to. Uh, I want to. I just want to get like some parchment and some things. I want to be able to, you know, cover my book. 
Okay. Um, you start to and, peel off, and, and the guard's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are, are you sure you're okay to go shopping right now with your condition? Oh, I just need a couple things. It should be fine. I, I've been dealing with this for a long time. It, I know my limits. <laughs> just all this stuff with, like, I, I don't do big cities well. Sure. Um, can one of you go with him, just in case? Uh, sure, if somebody wants to pick up the fucking cat. Oh, it's just right there. I only need a couple things. I'll be okay, I promise. No, I, I insist. Why don't you please go with him? I will go with You're him. You're so kind. You're all right. I pick up my stuff. We don't have to roleplay that. I just want to pick it up. <laughs> for those of you that do not know what a fucking book sock is, it was a it was a cover for a book that we were all fucking required to buy to cover our textbooks so that yep. everybody was able to tell who's from apart. And yep. then ultimately everyone ended up with the same three shades of the exact same fucking tie-dye book sock. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then in the middle of the semester they would poke holes through the silicone. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Um, you make your way in, and I'm not letting you get out of this roleplay. <laughs> I was just trying to get out of No choice. You have no choice. Oscar you are trapped <laughs> now. You make your way in. Um, before you is a very disheveled general store. Um, all the shelves seem to have no manner of organization to them. Um, it's just like random crap thrown everywhere with these makeshift price tags just kind of like smacked nice. onto it. Um, making your way in, your presence is announced by a bell that uh, kind of chimes as the door opens. Is this Michael's? <laughs> yeah, I'll be right with you! Yes! Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> Hold on. I'm becoming Julia, not Morgan. I gotta... <laughs> Rain it in. <laughs> Rain it in. Uh. I thought you would go for a pun on Rain Singer, but you know. Why? No, you're. What? Okay, whatever. Continue. Uh, I'm looking around. I'm getting the few things that I need. Mm -hmm. You. It takes you a minute, but you start to collect the stuff you need, and once you start to make your way to the counter, um, you see this very old halfling um graying hair like past the shoulders and a large frazzled beard um with just the slightest hint of brown near the chin and the rest is all just gray um good, good. wrinkle lines everywhere on the, his face <laughs> he is <laughs> he is probably more wrinkles than he is man Old wrinkle <laughs> um he makes his way like behind the counter and lifts himself up on a stool to be at a, a level height with you. Oh, so how can I help you? Hi, I just I just wanted these few things. Oh, that's all. What are you writing? I I'm don't know yet. Um, you look like you're really knowledgeable about stuff. Can I get your opinion on something? Depends on what the question is. What is the kind of book that everyone would feel immediately too uncomfortable to perceive any further than the cover? What genre? For scientific reasons. Honey, we got another one of those ones again! <laughs> What? <laughs> I said we got. Never mind. Can't hear a damn thing, you old bat. Uh. So does that. I have no idea what you're talking about, lad. Then just these, please. Alright, that'll be two gold. 
I hand it over to him. Oh my god. <laughs> he slides the gold over the counter. And well, you have a just... pleasant day with your books you can't read. Yes? Sir. <laughs> and I run away. I, I want to go, like, behind an alley, and I want to, like, very quickly, like, fashion something to, like, cover the front of the book. Mm -hmm. And I genuinely... I don't know what, what genre of book this this should be. But... <gasps> Pitching a tent! <laughs> <laughs> Volume We've four. done it. We've connected genocide. We've connected the dots. We did it, guys. <laughs> Somewhere. We did it. Somehow, Taya's <laughs> blushing. <laughs> and she has no idea um, why. No, I'm, I'm not going to do that. That'll be confusing. Um, what's another smut name? Um, I'm going to come up with... Um, I don't know. I'll, fi I'll figure it out in a minute when it becomes relevant. Okay. When it becomes a... <laughs> when it becomes relevant. I am accepting smut Viking name ref uh, recommendations in the chat right now. <laughs> well, I was going to say, well, chat, cool. you, heard the, you heard the man. Uh, he is requesting fantasy uh, smut titles. So hit us with your best, uh, best ideas. Bonus points for Viking themed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, fucking Christ. I am oh, shit. so scared. Man, where is Satanic no. when you need him? No, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly who submitted that. We're not bringing Todd's kinks into this. <laughs> <laughs> Todd, get the fuck out. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> You make your way back out to the group in the cart. <laughs> and you continue onwards towards the center of town. <clears throat> um, eventually you reach the, the central meeting space, um, past the market, and eventually onto the actual keep itself, where a bit more of the hustle and bustle of the city fades. Um, and find yourself in a much quieter space. Um, you see more uh, clerical figures kind of roaming about the area, um, as well as a bit of an increased number of guards um, who make their way to and fro. Um, immediately getting up, they have you drop the card off at the very front of the keep. Uh, going up the stairs, you see before you this just absolutely massive, impressive for the time, a uh, stone keep that goes maybe 50, 60 feet up, um, covered in these crenellations and thatched roofs, uh, these large ballistas kind of mounted on the sides, and you can see kind of off towards the back near the mountains um, is this large smoking forge, um, something that you see crag, like... <laughs> uh, Checks out. Making your way inwards, uh, eventually you come to kind of a common space that's just on the other side of the first wall of the keep. Um, a much smaller courtyard. There's very well kept flowers um, and various winter foliage that's able to survive the cold during this time of year. Uh, not too many people are moving about this space. It's mostly just guards and a few very rich looking folks. Um, as well as some clerics here and there. Um, the guard kind of leads you off to one of the side paths and steps into one of the doors where you're immediately greeted by two other guards. Um, they kind of look over his shoulder. This them? Yes, I'm glad the message made it. All right. Come on. I motion you inward. Um, and you make your way in. Uh, upon entering the hallway, um, it's much quieter in here as well. Just a few 
torches that line the space and crackle um, with smoke and fire. They lead you down the hallway and eventually to one of the larger doors on the side passage. One of them gives a knock and you hear a voice from the inside. Come in. They creak the door open and lead you inside and before you, you see who you assume is Stuart Ingald. Um, fairly... I don't want to be mean, but a fairly generic <laughs> looking fellow. Pretty much <laughs> as average and indescribable as they come. <laughs> Messy brown hair, some well-kept clothes, um, very plain facial features. Um, currently in the middle of going over some ledgers on his desk, he looks up to you and uh, as you enter. So, you're the group that was with Eskil, yes? Apologies, but this is just a precaution, and some of the guards begin to step towards you as they pull manacles from their sides. You just want... Uh, I look... I try to look as pathetic as fucking possible. Like, there's no getting out of this, is there? They're just without... doing their best to hide. Yeah. To hide. To like to look neutral, but her 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 tail's going. She's not happy with this. <laughs> without another word, the guards approach and cuff you. Okay. Again, apologies. It's just a precaution as part of the proceedings. Standard yeah. protocol, if you will. Now, if I'm honest, you're going to have a bit of a, a bit more discomfort ahead of you. The trial itself is tomorrow. It takes a while to get them organized. So you'll have to stay the night. Trial? Yes. You seem surprised. Were you not expecting one? I just thought, I thought we were just saying what we, oh, it's a trial. Well, you are the only ones present at the death of one of the most powerful nobles in the continent. Should you be innocent, you have nothing to worry. That's what they say. Indeed. As for the Damarin to side, though, not me. The, the what now? The Damari. Would I recognize that word? Oh, yes. Immediately, Reese just sends out his other Uh, I didn't think this, this was important enough for them. They must have better shit to get with, right? How many? Three will be in attendance. <sighs> Fuck. Right, fine. It'll be nice to see him again, anyway. Mind you, they will not be the ones making your final judgment. They will just provide guidance and a recommendation to your arbiter. Sounds about right. Now, uh, with that said, if you'd like to go ahead and follow the guards, they'll take you down to your temporary holding cells for now. Again, I apologize that you have to spend the night in the dungeon, but again, standard protocol. You'll be provided with food and water. Is there a window or something nearby? Yeah. I want to just shuffle on to a window, and Arthur likes to hang out, like, on, like in my pocket or something. <laughs> I want to make sure that he's outside okay yeah um make me a stealth roll okay yeah i am hiding it never mind just kidding <laughs> bird's just gonna pop out of your chest and that's gonna be totally 
<laughs> Five. Five. Um, as far as you can tell, no one notices Arthur slip out of your pocket and out the window. See you later, buddy. So, uh, I'm assuming we're going to be kept in separate cells. Are they, are they at least going to be nearby? I'd like to make sure that the rest of my friends are safe. Certainly. Alright. And it kind of motions the door. Alright. I'm for save you. The guards lead you down the hallways, and you go down stair after stair, eventually making your way far below where light touches into a dungeon as you're each led to your individual cells, awaiting your trial the next day. I'll go ahead and take a break. Cool. We'll be back in a bit. <laughs>